Hey everyone, those haters of the idea of the Raiders remaining in Oakland are about to have a massive bellyache. I can now tell you that after months of discussions that are continuing even as I make this vlog, the Ronnie Locke group is poised to be the focus of a resolution that will be brought before the Oakland City Council and the Alameda County Board of Supervisors within the coming weeks, about a month or so, that will, if approved, allow the East Bay officials, East Bay entities, the City of Oakland, the County of Alameda, Joint Powers Authority, BART, AC Transit, everyone involved, to begin negotiations toward the development of what will be eventually a 35 to 40 acre project at the center of which will be a stadium for the Oakland Raiders. You can call it Coliseum City because roughly the same area of land will be used that was approved by the Oakland City Council and was recognized as Coliseum City just last year. So where everything is right now is that the parties are talking and the reason for the MOU is that Oakland Mayor Libby Schaff was very much afraid of having the term ENA thrown out too early, that is, exclusive negotiating agreement. And there's a sound reason for this. Libby didn't want to get caught up in being trapped in a contractual agreement that she and the East Bay officials couldn't get out of if things went wrong. If you remember last year, that was a major problem with the New City Development Group headed by Floyd Gephardt, where the East Bay officials couldn't talk to anybody else because they were an ENA and therefore suggested changes and alterations that would improve the Gephardt proposal could never be considered because it would be a violation of the ENA. Well, Libby doesn't want that. She wants to make sure that all the I's are dotted and T's are crossed and all the details are worked out before the lock group can get an ENA. And I have to add this, she is very much in support of the lock group. This is not a matter of a lack of confidence in the lock group. It's a matter of wanting just the opposite. It's a matter of wanting everything to go right and smoothly toward the construction of a new stadium for the Oakland Raiders. Now, you might be asking what's going on with the much talked about or equally much talked about land proposal that's to go to the Raiders. That is coming along, as I'm told. And the progress toward that is moving along quite, quite well. I would expect, based on what I've been told, but I haven't been given an exact date, but I would expect the land proposal to be rolled out around the time that the MOU news is made publicly available, the news regarding the lot group. Now, as to the lot group's economic power, I will tell you this. Ronnie Lott and his collection of bankers, builders, and investors could do, right now, a deal very much like the deal that Stan Kroenke has done with the eight banks the, that he has networked together to back his privately financed deal to build the near $3 billion stadium in Inglewood, California. In the lot group case, the only public investment that may be involved will be for infrastructure, streets and roads. So, and that's being worked out as well right now. But the objective is to use as little public investment as possible, okay? So that's the news right here. And it's important to get it out here now because there are those who are, for some particular reason, jonesing at the idea that Oakland is doing nothing. And there have been a lot of lies spread about what Oakland is capable of doing and has done. For example, the idea that Oakland has never come up with a plan. That's not true. It has. But Oakland Raider owner Mark Davis has done a good job of changing what he wants from time to time. And so the plan that the city officials and county officials thought would be the one he wanted turned out wasn't the one he wanted. For example, he said he wanted 
a $400 million investment in the Oakland case, right? But then in the Carson case, he said nothing about public money at all. He kept silent. Just pointing that out to you. Or in the Oakland case, he wants a 55,000 seat stadium. But in the Carson case, the stadium was going to be large enough to host the Super Bowl. Same for Las Vegas. All of that, when market studies have shown, and the Raiders' own season ticket sales performance has shown this year, that they can sustain a much larger stadium, large enough to host the Super Bowl. Just giving you just a flavor of what's going on to this point. But that's the news. Stay tuned.